In this part, we can see how to design this button animation. All right, let's go and create a new Figma file and create a frame of 200 pixels, 44 head and 25 pixel border radius, a standard button container, and then let's transform it to auto layout and change its color to a gradient I'm gonna choose a blue color all right okay now let's create our text layer let's go back and make sure it is a fixed width and a fixed head and create our bay let's align everything to the sun this will be 16 pixels and medium all right now the next thing i want to create is this white background and the text of my next interaction or my second interaction so let's go and pick a rectangle let's draw over our uh, bottom inside and transform to absolute position change its color to white move it there to the background and make sure all right it's uh, it can fill up all the bottom and hide it. Also, let's move it to the top. All right, just move it so it can go out of the uh, space of my bottom. You can let it be, you know, doesn't matter if it's hidden or show. I'm gonna leave it as uh, not hide. All right, next. Let me create this text, then we're gonna create this animation. Now for my text, I will duplicate it and add my text processing, transform it to absolute, all right, saturate. Let's hide pay for now, all right? Let's keep that like that. And then let's go and create our uh, three dot animation, this animation. So let's pick the ellipse tool. Let's draw ellipse of three pixels by three pixels. All right, zoom in. Let's change its color to a dark gray. Let's duplicate one, two, three. All right, now select everything and create a component. Also select the three ellipse and change its constraint to center. Then select the component frame and let's give it a 10 pixel height of the frame of my component. Now move this to the bottom. Look, I moved my ellipses to the bottom. Now I'm gonna change, I'm gonna first align this to the top and change those opacity to 40 pixels. All right, now I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna create, just add a new variant and resize this and put this side by side. And I'm gonna move this back to the bottom of this central one to the top and change its opacity to 100 and the opacity of the first one back to 40. Then create a new variant of this to the button, change the opacity to 40% and this to the top and the opacity to 100%. All right, let's resize the container frame of our component set. And then let's go to prototype and add our interaction. Connect the first one and select after delay one millisecond, smart animate and you can keep is out 300 millisecond. I will do the same for the others. After delay, one millisecond. And the last one with the first one to create an infinite loop. After delay, one millisecond. Next, let's create a new frame and let's drag our animation inside or three dot component. Let's rename it three dots animation. All right, let's go and hit preview, zoom in, 
And all right, that's working. Now let's go and pick this and move it to the auto layout. Make sure it is absolute. Move it to the right and center everything. All right, now for my text, I'm gonna change it a dark color. And then what I'm going to do is to move everything to the top. And I'm gonna show back my first um, text. Now I'm gonna also create the last text. So here, if you go back to our animation, I'm gonna create this phase, and the last phase is this success. So for my success, I'm gonna change it to a bright green color, something like that, and absolute center and also move it to the top all right now let's go and animate all that rename it to bottom so as you can see i created everything inside a single component now i'm gonna create a component and then add a second variant for this variant i'm gonna first um, select the rectangle and also my text processing and three dots all right it's four layers and move everything to the bottom but first let's go back let's make sure also this pay is absolute so every single layer inside my auto layout is in absolute position so i can play with it exactly as i want and i'm gonna select everything except the success so all right let's move this till i have my white background covering all the surface the visible surface of my button and then i'm gonna recenter that all right so i'm gonna create the third variant and i'm gonna move just this two to the bottom and i'm gonna move to the center the success all right i think that's it also i'm gonna create add a drop shadow effect for some contrast just a light one all right now i'm gonna create a new frame so i can test that this will be gray one because i have a light background so we can see the button and then let's move to prototype and Connect the first one with the second one. One click, Smart Animate, and let me choose Custom. And I'm gonna play those knobs. So there is no rule here. I'm just gonna create some smooth ease in the animation. All right. Um, let's change this to 500 millisecond. Move to the next one and select it with the last. And this will be after delay, and I think this will be one millisecond, or I'll give it some. No, 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 no. I'll give it two seconds, which is two thousand millisecond. And here will be red millisecond. And I'm gonna choose bouncy. Let's go back twelve hundred. All right. And then let's go and connect the last or the last variant the first one on click and keep this let's go back to a second and ease in something very basic all right now let's test this drag our button let me change this to a light blue all right this looks better and hit the play button so select the frame and hit the play button all right let me zoom in so if i click I have this appear and then I have my success bounce. All right, click back. If we go back to the default, try it again. Let's click. I have the processing and the loading dots. Then I have the success. All right. Thank you for taking the time to join me on this tutorial. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. I hope this video was helpful and I created this tutorial using MasterUI components. So please visit masterui.co to discover 
thousands of components to fuel your creative genius. Thanks, and if you have any suggestion for the next tutorial, please feel free to share them by leaving a comment. See you in the next one.